She is, she's the closest thing that I've ever had to an actual hero, somebody that I personally every single day think, you know, if I can take something from her, if I can, you know, if I could choose to behave in a certain way or um, rise above the challenges that I might face in a day, then I'm being true to her. Because, you know, the 14 infallibles, we can't be that. There's no possibility for us to achieve that. But Zainab, we can do that. Every single one of us can do that. We can stand up. We can, you know, we can continue to spread the messages of um, the elevate, and we can continue to strive and speak out with this level of class and character that, you know, is amazing. And you just think, you know, if I could be that eloquent, if I could be, you know, that intelligent and that brave and, and that caring, I mean, she was caring for her family all while she's standing there being the beacon of hope for our religion. I mean, it's amazing to me. It makes me, you know, makes me want to go and stand up and, and do things. And so, I mean, it, there's certain projects that I've decided to take on because of it, because I think, okay, this is, you know, this is what she might do in this situation, providing food to families who um, need it. And it's done in such a wonderful way that it gets delivered to these people's homes instead of um, forcing them to come to um, one location and feel the shame and embarrassment of having to come and get um, charity, basically. And so we go and deliver it like any kind of grocery delivery service. And um, I think it gives them a much more positive way um, to accept that. So that was one of the things that I was inspired to become part of. Um, and the other is at work. Um, I work at a private school, and so some of the teachers, we've decided that we're going to um, work towards uh, raising funds to um, build a school um, in one of the Middle Eastern countries. I've been lucky to find um, some picture books that I can use to teach my children about um, Islam and to give them an understanding. Um, I've yet to find anything, um, I think, that adequately explains um, the stories of Karbala in a way that they would understand. Um, what I do is I sit with my children and I try to explain um, what's going on. And so they know that Muharram is coming up and that um, it's going to be a little bit quieter for me, um, that I'm more likely to be a little bit more emotional um, during that time. And so when they question um, the reasons for that, then I'll be prepared to talk to them, talk to you know, my two girls about what it means, um, why we're commemorating Muharram for uh, 10 days, and um, you know, the importance of the different personalities from there um, in a more simplistic way so that they can understand. And one of the reasons why we cry um, every year during Ashura um, is because globally the lessons haven't been learned that we cry for the grief that we feel in our communities today of the oppression. And we cry for humanity who still haven't learned <clears throat> all of the lessons about Ashura um, and the strength of um, what Imam Hussein stood for. Um, and I think it's important to keep that grief alive so that we can continue to go out and strive to teach that message. Because if we were complacent about it, if we just, you know, it's just another, it's just another day, um, it would no longer be important. It would no longer carry the same weight. Um, it wouldn't carry the same importance as, you know, there's this feeling when you're crying during Ashura and it's, like a wave and it's almost as if there's a point at least for me where it almost feels like Allah is reaching down <clears throat> and patting you or comforting you because he can you know because the grief is so intense 
And so by commemorating Ashura every year and grieving it, we do get closer to Allah. We also keep the spirit of our moms alive um, and refresh and renew um, the importance of following the teachings of Alvaid. I've, I've made the decision to go into this different culture, to you know, integrate myself into this different group of people. It's my responsibility to make sure that I'm educating myself and understanding what's going on. Um, and it's the same way that as, you know, as we in Canada have a vastly wonderful immigrant population, that they had to do the same thing. They had to learn it. And so I think maybe having the right attitude about it and being open to learning um, helps because the sisters, you know, they help when they can. And I would never want them to feel like they should have done more for me because honestly, they, they do so much. They do probably too much than they should. Have. <laughs>